Oh, okay. You, you, you know, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, no. No, I, no, I told you, I called you, I told you to put it in your calendar that this was your weekend. I made plans. I don't care if, oh, you're gonna go out of town with your new girlfriend? Is that what you're gonna go do? That's just great. Okay, you know what? Why don't you go hang out with your new girlfriend and I'm gonna go take our daughter to school. Yeah. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye. You've gotta be kidding me. Okay, Camilla, let's go. You don't wanna be late. Who was that on the phone? Who do you think? Your father. Let's go, Camilla. Did you join the Dramas Club cast of Cabaret? Miranda. You made me mess up. Okay, what do you think? I think it looks like have lipstick and eyeliner on. No, but is it cute? Uh, sure, but since when do you care about makeup though? I thought this was our year to focus on our studies and get that dual scholarship to Harvard. Well, yeah, but I don't see how a little bit of eyeliner and lipstick would take me out of the running for Harvard. And plus, I just wanted to do something that made me feel alive. Well, I can help you with that. We have to file our speech and debate evidence and submit it by the end of the day tomorrow. Come on, what's more exhilarating than putting papers of evidence into me? Nice, precise rose. Yeah, you're lucky I've known you since we were like three or I turn you in for being the serial killer that you are. I like things organized. Oh my God. What? It's Trisha and Sammy. They're so cool. Oh, the boys like them? Uh, no, uh, they're like delinquents. I heard Sammy shoplifts from Zara. You don't know her side of the story, and plus it's not that big of a deal. Uh, it is a big deal, because last time I checked, it was a crime everywhere. Not well, now, except Miranda. Except for San Francisco, because it's- uh, Hey, Trisha. Oh, hey, Sammy. Why call them on a rose? Hey. Bad lipstick. It's dangerous. Oh. That was a compliment. Right. So what are you guys up to? We're about to get out of here. Wait, the bell hasn't even rung yet. Not to class, we have plans. Oh, like what, like a field trip? <laughs> sure, you can call it that. Uh, we're going to Jordan's after fourth period. He stayed home today and his parents just bought a ping pong table. So you're skipping school to go play ping pong? And chill. You guys wanna come with? Really? Oh, uh, excuse us for a second. What are you doing? No, what are you doing? You can't skip school. And since when do you want to hang out with Trisha and Sammy? Trisha threw a chair at a counselor in middle school. Just got off probation. You're being overdramatic. They seem fun. No, they seem like troublemakers. Troublemakers? You're being like my great aunt Sylvia. Stop being so uptight. Listen, okay, if this is about your parents splitting up. Seriously? You're being a grandma, stop it. So, are you guys coming with us, or...? Apparently, I have a retirement home to move into. Big guys do whatever you want. Yeah, I'm in. So how do we do this? Meet us in the parking lot after fourth period. Okay. See you then. So do you want to meet at lunch to go over evidence for a debate tournament? I can't. Why? Oh my god, you're not seriously thinking about skipping school with them. Shh. Can you not? What is the big deal? We can get in a lot of trouble and for what? Ping pong at Jordan Smith's house? Gross. Look, you don't get it, okay? You're... I'm what? You're kind of like a loser, Miranda. I can't believe you. Fine, go hang out with Trisha and Sammy. Hey, maybe after reading Zara, I can go hit the makeup counter at Sephora. Okay, yeah, maybe I will. Just making sure, you have a driver's license? Yeah. And insurance? Yes. And a clean driving record? Don't be boring.
child and I cannot believe that you are not answering your phone right now. This is absurd. I, it's just, what am I supposed to do? Okay, I forget it. Call me back when you get this or else I'm gonna call my lawyer. Yesterday was so fun. Let's go to the mall today. Oh yeah, Zara has their new summer collection. I need a new top. You buy it, right? <laughs> Why would you rat her out if she didn't? Yeah, cause that's not what friends do for each other. No, no, of course not. I was just wondering. Maybe you could get a new top too. Maybe one Jordan would like. You think he likes me? I mean, he couldn't stop staring at you yesterday. Or now. Hey, Camila. Um, hey. So you guys coming over again today? Uh... Totally. We can come by after school. You mean after the mall. Well, we're going to the mall during school, so technically it's still after school. But what if we spend more time at the mall? You're giving me a headache. So I'll, I'll take that as a yes. Yes. I, I mean, yes, we'll be there after school. But after school, after the mall, what's the difference? We'll be there. Cool. See you then. Okay, cool. So we'll meet in the parking lot, same time. Um, okay, yeah. for organizing all of that. That's what losers are for, right? <laughs> we'll be doing mock trials today. Please come prepared as you would for a real tournament. This is your chance to work out any kinks for your arguments. I guess we should prepare for that. How's lunchtime for you? I, actually, I can't. I have plans with... Let me guess. Trish and Sammy. Well, yeah. Can you cancel? This is important. Not really. Jordan Smith likes me and would promise to go to his house after school. I'm sorry. Did you lose IQ points because I couldn't understand that sentence? Jordan Smith, Smith likes you. So what, you and I have been working on this case for months now, and all of a sudden you decide to bail on me right before a big term in order to sneak out of school, hang out with Jordan Smith? Can you keep your voice down? Jordan Smith isn't even your type. How do you know what my type is? You're right. I thought I knew you, but clearly I don't. I'll go ask Mrs. Yearwood for a new debate partner. Well, that's reliable. Camilla, can I have a word? Oh, I'm actually kind of in a rush right now. This won't take long. Uh, okay, what's up? So, I hear you're dropping out of the tournament? Yeah, I, I just had plans today, but I'll be back in the next one. If you drop out of this tournament, I'm afraid I can't allow you back on the team. Well, that's just dumb. Most would call it common sense. Y yeah, sure. Are we done? May I ask, is something going on between you and Miranda? You two always seem so close, and today she asked me for a new partner, and you two barely spoke during class. No, no, it's, it's nothing that serious. I really have to go now. Okay, then. Have a good day. Okay, yeah.
Camila Mendez. You seem lost. Here, let me show you to your classroom. I had a talk with Miss Mendez and it ran a little late. All good. Uh, go ahead and sit down. We were just talking about parabolas. So you're ratting me out now? What are you talking about? Yeah, right, because Mrs. Yearwood just happened to know I'd be leaving after her class to hang out with Trish and Sammy in the parking lot. I didn't say anything. I should have known you'd get all jealous of me. <laughs> are you kidding me? Jealous of what, your cliche, angry, rebellious teen act? You're the one who's cliche. You couldn't stand that a boy noticed me, so you went and threw a fit about it to Mrs. Yearwood. Girls, enough. You and me, we're done. Gladly. At the rate you're going, you'll be accepted into juvenile detention long before you ever get accepted into Harvard. No talking. Hey. Hey. Hey, what are you guys doing back? Uh, we just had a small incident and we had to get out of there. Oh, what happened? It was no big deal. And you went with them, Jordan? Yep. We need a favor. Can you put this bag in your locker? Mine's filled to the brim. Mine too. Same. Um, yeah, sure. What is it? Just my change of clothes from gym. Don't worry, they're clean. Hey, Trisha. I thought you said Jordan liked me. He did, but now he doesn't. Now he likes Sammy. Then Sammy likes him too? Uh, sure, why not? I'm just confused because you both said that Jordan liked me. And now I'm telling you that he doesn't. What's the big deal? I thought you were our friend. Yeah, I am. Then be supportive of Sammy and Jordan's new relationship. Yeah, sure. So what did you guys get at the mall today? Just some tops and stuff. Oh, can I see? We don't have them with us right now. Oh, that's fine, maybe later. So are we still on for your house after school today? Oh, um, actually, we're going to see a movie. Oh, I, I love movies. I just saw the new Sonic, but I'd be totally down to see it again. I meant so we are going to see a movie, just us. Oh. <laughs> Trish, do you want to hang out? Mm, no. Why, you have plans? No, I just kind of feel like being alone after school. Oh. Miranda, can I talk to you for a second? No. Um, what about on earth? But I, I just want to I'm in the middle of briefing with my new debate partner, okay? Oh, you got a new debate partner already? Of course I did. Miranda, I'm- Why don't you go sit with your real friends?
So you can write about anything, really. Um, I want you to pick a theme from The Great Gatsby, all right? And, you know, connect it to something that you personally relate to. Pardon the interruption. I need Trisha, Sammy, Jordan, and Camilla. Meet me at your lockers, please. Now. They tell us that the mall has security footage of you shoplifting. Trisha, open your locker, please. That's not true. See? My locker's empty. I didn't go to the mall with them. You were caught with them trying to leave campus until Mrs. Yearwood escorted you back. Open your locker, please. Come on, come with me. Sammy, Trisha, you too. They've got you on tape. Camila made us do it. Wait, Principal Larry, I know Camila didn't see anything. And the only reason why they put it in her locker was to blame her. I know that because I know her. And I know she would never steal. Uh, that's very nice, Miranda, but we'll work it out. Ladies here with me. Jordan, you too. Thanks for having my back. Well, I knew you wouldn't steal anything. So what happened? Well, I got Saturday school for skipping class yesterday. Um, but Jordan, Trisha, and Sammy got community service for three months for shoplifting, plus a year of Saturday school to make up for all the classes they skipped. OK. Well, I guess I'll see you later then. Wait, Miranda. Look, I'm really sorry. I was a total jerk to you, and I shouldn't have called you a loser, and I shouldn't have accused you of being jealous of me. Why did you do that? Well, you were right. Things at home have been less than perfect. And I guess I thought if I could reinvent myself, I would feel better. Well, you can always talk to me. I can? Of course. You're my best friend, right? Right. And you think you can have me back as your debate partner, too? Are you kidding me? Oh, I should have asked. No, of course you can. Please, the other kid didn't even know who Lincoln Douglas was. I just saw my Harvard future flashing before my eyes. <laughs> I missed you. I miss you too. You are who you surround yourself with. Make sure you use good judgment, and if you feel irrational or like your judgment is clouded, talk to a parent, a friend, or a school psychologist. And if a friend is acting out of character, try and hold space for them. You never really know what someone's going through. See you next time.